and welcome to Mango uh, 3 or 3.5 as it is on your assignment. Today we're going to look at how to chart a vignette. Um, so we're going to look at the vignettes that you guys looked at last week and figure out how we go about taking them apart and finding all the most important pieces. So our target um, is that you will independently read and write to chart characteristics of the vignette and complete multiple choice, which you already did last time, um, to track your comprehension. Just to go over again, a vignette is just one of the short stories in our book that's just an, its own independent little snapshot that will stand on its own, and we've read several of them already. All right. It's going to ask you about the plot. So the plot is the action or the events that happen in the story. The events follow the plot line to the right. So you start with your exposition. That's the, how the story itself begins. The rising action leads to the climax, which is the highest point of the story where the character shifts or the com, uh, conflict or problem is resolved. And then the denouement or the resolution. Setting. This is the time and place where or when something in the plot of the story happens. This could be very specific, like October 31st at midnight in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Or this could also be something very vague, like afternoon, outside of the house, or in the street. Many of the settings in House on Mango Street will be more vague. To summarize, when you summarize something, you want to write a short description of the events in the story in your own words. You want to be, you want it to be one to three sentences long, and it should include as many answers to the six questions or question words below as possible without using too much specific detail. So those six words would be who, what, when, where, why, and how. The most important of those words being who. Who is involved in the situation? What is happening? If there's a why, do we know why it's happening? And how are the characters going about doing what they're doing in this scene? You don't have to answer them all, but those are the things that are going to help you write an excellent summary. Figurative language for this assignment, we talked the other day about um, sensory images or imagery. It's when the author appeals to the reader's five senses, um, which you see below, to enhance how the reader relates to the story. They may describe the smells of baking bread or the beautiful colors of the fall leaves. So you're going to appeal to the five senses of sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste. And um, we really looked at those when we did the, um, the vignette hairs, which you're going to look at again today. Simile is when the author compares two things using like or as or than. He is at, was as tall as a tree. He was taller than a tree. He was like a tree towering over the crowd. So the last one um, is a little bit longer, but it still gives you the basic idea. All right. So now we're going to look at, again, the um, vignette hairs. We discussed the imagery the other day, and uh, you guys are going to complete the part of the chart that's attached um, to this. And then when you're done with that, you are going to continue on um, and complete the chart for the vignette, My Name. Ignore the part about the um, multiple choice. We did that last time. All right, so this time when you're looking at the lesson, instead of a form, because those have not been working very well and they erase your answers, we decided to switch back to um, Microsoft Documents, or Microsoft Word Documents, I should say. So you're going to open Mango 3 Structured Notes. And once it opens, you're going to see that you have um, the vignette hair, or hairs, as it's actually written in the book. All right. And then once you go through this, like we did the other day, you're going to describe the setting of hair. All right. Where and when does this take place? Remember, it's a little more vague. It's not going to be super specific. We don't know, you know, the year that this is happening, but where is this happening? And probably, you know, the bulk of it, especially the second part, what time of day is it happening in? Um, name the important characters. 
So Esperanza is always going to be your number one most important character because she is the narrator and she's the one telling this to us. And then you're just going to name the other characters. Summarize the plot of the story. So basically just go through. What does she talk about in the first paragraph? And what does she talk about in the second paragraph? That's all you really have to go through with this. Make a connection to the vignette hairs. So what that means is find some way in your life that you can connect to this, all right? It might be something you notice that many of your family members share. Like in this story, Vin or, um, Esperanza notices all the hair that's different in her family. Um, you guys might have, you know, similarities in eyes or smiles or whatever. Um, you can also relate to the imagery of, you know, smells. What are some of those smells that make you feel at the most comfortable, the most at home, um, the most uh, safe? What are those smells? Um, so if you can't relate to sharing a trait, you can go back to that imagery that she talks about. Record a sensory image that the author uses to enhance the vignette. What can you see, smell, taste, touch, or hear in the story, especially in that second paragraph? That's where you're going to find the bulk of them. And for the vignette hair, um, I want you to write down one simile from the vignette using quotation marks. All right. So you're definitely going to look at, especially that first paragraph, where does she use the word like? to compare two things that are not alike, okay? On the bottom, um, so we talked in class about the year of the horse um, in Chinese culture and that she and her grandmother are both born in the year of the horse. Um, the horse's auspicious gifts are freedom of spirit and fearlessness or fearless approach to life. So that means they are very, very strong women. All right, so we talked about this at length the other day. So now what I want you to do is you're going to describe the setting. And again, you're going to summarize the plot. You're going to identify important characters, especially Esperanza, but there are more. Make some sort of connection. Maybe it could be a connection that you have with a grandparent. Um, it could be, you know, a time you felt strong and you did something that you were surprised you were able to do or um, how you feel about your name. How did you get your name? Okay. Any of these things can be a connection that you're, you're looking at. Um, you're going to have to record another sensory image and you are going to um, write down a simile using quotation marks. So quote the exact line that you're using from this. So that is pretty much the entire assignment. Um, once you are finished editing the document, you can close it and click turn it in. You don't have to do anything more than that. You don't have to add the link. You don't have to um, you know, download a copy of it. I would recommend saving a copy of this so that you have the work just in case, but it shouldn't erase on this one. There will be a short answer rubric here that I have included. Um, as always, rephrase, answer your questions, answer your statements. And if you are ever in um, want of knowing how you will be graded, it is all right here. And the points value is right next to everything. All right. For cohort A, we are going to be completing this in class on Monday. For cohort B, wait and complete this in class on Thursday. All right. Thanks much and have a wonderful day.